Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect AWS RDS database for PostgreSQL 17.4 from PGA admin or DB ever. Okay, first connect to AWS console, then search for RDS. See here we have the Aurora on RDS. Before it was RDS, now it is renamed to services Aurora on RDS. Click on it. Click on DB instances or databases. Okay, either is fine. See here, I don't have any instances running. Zero. Okay, click on DB instances. Then click on create database. See here, we have two types of methods. Standard create and easy create. We are going to use the standard create. This is the Aurora PostgreSQL Compatible Edition. But select the PostgreSQL here. Then scroll down. Here we have to select the version. That is engine version. Engine version means PostgreSQL server version. Click on drop down. See here we have the latest version 17.4. Select it. Then see here we have to select the templates. Production, dev, dev or test or free tier. Okay. See for production we have these options. But if you go with free tier, these options will be grayed out. Okay. For this demo purpose, I am going to use this free tier. Okay. So scroll down. And then provide the name for the DB instance identifier. Then credential settings. See master username is postgres. If you want to change, you can change. Okay. And provide the password for this master user. I'm giving then conf see this is not satisfying the policies. Okay. See it must be at least eight characters and it cannot contain any one of these four characters. So keep in mind and give the password. Okay. Remember this password and this user which is required to connect to AWS RDS database for process equals 784. Then instance configuration. Then you have to select the instance class type. See here. For standard and memory optimized classes disabled because we have selected free tier. Okay. That's why we are unable to select these two. We can only select the burstable classes. In this also, we are able to select either of these two, T3 or T4 micros. Okay. So, I am going with this DB T4G micro. See here, number of CPUs are 2, 1 GB RAM. Okay. Then storage, you can select any one of these storage types. Allocated storage, I am giving only 20 gigabytes. Connectivity, See here we have two options. Don't connect to an EC2 compute resource or connect to use it. It is up to you. Network type IP before. Actual private network. I don't have anything, so it will create the see if you have an existing VPC in this region, it will show here. I don't have any VPC, so it will create new VPC. Subnet also I am going to create new one. Public access select S. Yes. Then PPC security group. See here, I have one default one. So, if you want to create new for this RDS, you have to select new. Or if you want to use the existing one, you have to keep this one. Okay, if you have more than one, it will show here in this region. Availability zones. So, I'm going to give you a one B. Select from this list or no preference. Okay. I am not going to change this certificate authority and other options. Option tax, I am not going to provide additional configuration. See, the default port for the process is 5432. Okay. Then, database authentication. See here, we have three methods. Password authentication, password and IAM database authentication, password and Kerberos authentication. I am going with only password authentication. This is up to you based on your requirement. Database insert standard. Enable from retention period default is default is seven days, but we can select up to two years, twenty four months. Okay, and, um, and if you want to enable enhanced monitoring, you have to select this box. And if you want to log exports, you have to select the check boxes. Okay, I am role it is disabled. See, if we are okay with all these settings. 
to be one more time then click on create database see it is suggested add-ons for this rds i don't want anything at this moment close it see here creating database and this is the database identifier name see here this this both are same and status is creating role instance okay engine is post sql wait until this status to be changed if you want to see the credentials click on here see username is postgres if you want to copy the password of this username just click on this copy button okay close it if you click on this one here you will get the endpoint and port information once you get the endpoint then we will connect to this aws rds for first sql 17.4 for you want to go back click on database see here now status has been changed from creating to configuration click on it see now it populated the endpoint port number and also see here we have already that vpc security group vpc information monitoring logs etc information is there okay now we will see how to connect to this process equal 1704 click on this endpoint now open pg admin if you haven't installed pg admin on your machine then search for my youtube channel how to install pg admin for on windows or linux operating systems see here i have the pg admin for not only with pg admin we can also connect with p process equal client open cmd i have already installed psql client see i have installed psql client okay you can try to connect psql hyphen u username is postgres then hyphen h paste the endpoint hyphen d see now we got it expand it see these are the older connections right click register then server then give the name aws rds 174 then go to connection tab here in home post name or address we have to give the endpoint then provide the password of this user then click on save i will show you this command as well once we connect here see unable to connect this is expected then go to here click on this vpc security group select the security group id then click on edit inbound rules then click on add rule then select the poster sql select here then source select my ip then click on save rules not only my ip you can give the ip ranges by clicking on this anywhere means it will accept all any anywhere ipv4 addresses if you want custom you can click on this custom okay select save rules now go to here just enter the password then click on save see i have entered wrong password so then click on save now we will be able to connect see we have successfully connected expand it see here we have the rds admin database and we have the default process database okay now here also i find the give postgres hit enter then provide the password of this postgres user then hit enter see we have successfully connected let us verify the version select version see we have connected postgres sql 17.4 here also we, we have connected same if you want to run queries right click on any database query tool then select version select it click on execute button see we have installed process sql 17.4 if you want to create database just create database select it and click on execute see we have successfully created if you go to here right click refresh see you got the new database even if you go to this connection backslash l see we have the database we want simply database name select that name from pg underscore database see we got the databases okay 
except this bank. These are the default databases that comes with PostgreSQL, AWS RDS, PostgreSQL installation. Okay. Here also we can run the same queries. So like if you want to switch to this bank database, just give backslash here and database name. See, we have successfully switched to the bank database as the user PostgreSQL. If you want to go to this query tool, you have to go to here. If you want to remove this one, okay. The next option that I'm going to show you is go to this AWS console. Go, go back. Or simply go to home. Or AWS RDS. DB instances. See, now it is showing one. See, now it is status is available. Okay. So, everything configured perfectly. Okay. Now, if you want to stop or restart, just come to here and reboot. And if you want to stop temporarily, click on stop. Okay. Or even if you go to here, then select this db identifier then go to actions see here we have the same options okay if you stop and if you stop this one then you will be not able to connect to postgresql from the pg admin or command prompt or that mean psql client okay i want to show you one more method that is db1 go to db1 click on this plus button then select postgresql then click on next then here in the host we have to give the endpoint okay again i am showing you you can get the endpoint by clicking on this one see here we have the endpoint okay go to here default for for the post is 5432 database same show all databases then provide the password of this post user then click on text connection see connected successfully click on finish expand it and see here the connection information this is the connection string wait a moment it is loading expand databases see here we have the databases like here okay if you want to create users expand groups and roles you can create users okay in the same way table spaces okay if you want to run queries against this database right click select sql editor then open sql console see now we can run the queries okay so so we have successfully connected see if you go to this monitoring here you can see the all the information about this rds okay now go back databases select identifier if, again i am telling you if you are not using stop if you are not using permanently delete why because aws charges are based on the usage okay if you forgot to stop or delete charges will be more so in this video we have seen how to create AWS RDS database for the PostgreSQL then connected from the PSQL client, PG admin and DB1. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.